my journey through Karnataka brings me to the coastal town of Udupi. A place that's an important site of religious pilgrimage for Krishna devotees the world over. But more importantly, it's also the home of one of the most popular cuisines and that is Udupi cuisine. And that my friends is what I'm here for. I've made my way to the famous Krishna temple complex, but before I check it out, it's time for me to get a local breakfast. Excuse me, kya kya milega sir? Ali ke liye masala dosa, saag dosa, chat dosa, banana masala. Okay, set, set. Chat dosa. I'll try your set dosa. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Wow, that was quick. Ah, look at that. So, here in Udupi, time to eat. Hmm. Wow, super soft, and uh, got a sambar here, which is nice and thin and slightly sweet. Tomato and spices, basically. But um, I love it. It's really full of flavour. You know what? I would have thought that this. It's a sambar, but this one actually is uh, has got a slightly different flavour. Just pumpkin sambar masala and coconut, and this sambar, I think it's not so much a sambar but a saru. Hmm. I think that is a saru, if you ask me. Lovely, and then of course some coconut chutney. Well, it's a good thing I came over here because definitely the food is really fresh and uh, really light and delicious. Perfect, if you ask me. If any lover of Udupi cuisine, yep, it is really pretty good. Right, so I'm here at the famous Krishna temple in Udupi. Time to go and check it out for myself. A typical example of Dravidian architecture, the stone and wood carved inner sanctum of the 14th century Sri Krishna temple houses an idol of Lord Krishna. Famously discovered by Saint Sri Madhavacharya on a ship he rescued in a storm. This murti is only worshipped through a tiny window called the Navagraha Kitiki. Other than its historical and religious significance, the Krishna temple holds particular significance for me because it has a very special food connection. Sir, where is the bhojanalaya? Do you know? This is here. Come. Come. Are you going that way as well? Yes. Right, sir. Well, uh, I'm Aditya. Uh, what's your name? I'm H V Rao. 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 I met a lovely gentleman, uh, Mr. Rao. He's from Chennai. And uh, you're here to study, is that right? Yeah, I've come to learn. You've come to learn. Where at the at the one of the mats? In one of the mats. Yeah, Bhojan Shale. Yes, Bhojan Shale. Well, why we're here, and why this place is of interest, especially to me, is because it has one of the largest Bhojan Shales anywhere. of how food is so much more than just sustenance sure. food is uh, holy food is sacred food is a uh, giver of life <laughs> that's why and the giver it, of energy that's why we call it god's prasada the lord's prasad mm. and just like i expected keeping with true sattvic flavor and tradition yeah, right. there's lots of asafoetida being I mean, yeah. And just some turmeric. It's really, yeah. really mild. Turmeric and asafoetida is a must. Is a must. Right at the end of this wonderful meal comes the traditional payasam. Kheer, kheer. Mm. It's coconut. You got the jaggery, the rice. 
It's uh, it really is the South Indian version of kheer actually. It's, it's rice pudding except that in kheer, kheer is cooked with milk, and over here it's cooked with yeah, coconut milk and jaggery, and that just takes it and elevates it to a you know a level of a really exotic kind of dish. Beautiful, wonderfully silky and smooth. There just can't be a better way to end this meal if you ask me. <laughs> NDTV's Cricket app, Android and iPhone, faster scorecard, special analysis, and much more. Download free NDTV.com slash apps.